What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we are looking at another card from the Transformers trading card game, which is releasing in five days. It's out on Friday. I'm a little bit excited. Oh, no, wait. I live in the UK, which means I can start importing it in five days' time, and I'll have it in a couple weeks. Yay! But today we're looking at Ransack. An Insecticon, a very interesting little Insecticon, and it's one of these cards that takes a bit of sequencing and takes a bit of thought, and that makes me rather happy indeed. It's also the most recently revealed of the new character cards, so I thought that would be a fun one to have a look at today. So it is an Insecticon. Which is quite nice. We've had four of these revealed in total so far by my estimation. Although, of course, these are being revealed piecemeal. So if you think I've missed anything, let me know. And usual deal, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have a meta game. The game isn't out yet. We haven't seen the whole set. We haven't seen every card. We've not had tournaments. So it may well be that there's combos which we don't even know about yet. That is the nature of the game at this stage. So if we have a look at the basics of Ransack here, in bot mode we have got a defense of 3, which is higher than the average defense of 2. And we have got a health of 8, which is significantly lower than the average health of 12. If we flip over into insect mode here, the alt mode, we still have a health of 8, which is low. We have a defense of 2, which is right in line with the average. An attack of 3, which is slightly lower than the average. But then again, as much as it's got below average stats, other than defense in bot mode, it does actually have a cost of just 6. Six is incredibly low. Now, this was revealed on the Transformers TCG Twitter. And one of the card designers, the card designer of this card, Matt Smith. I hope it's the same guy that played Doctor Who, but it's probably not. He said, when designing the Insecticons, I wanted to ensure you could run a four-character team to emphasize the swarm nature of the bad guy bugs. Ransack is one piece of that puzzle. Okay, so the cost of 6 is very, very low. You can have character cards totaling a cost of 25. But if we have a look at all of the Insecticons so far revealed, we do have four of them. We've got Bombshell, who costs 8, Chop Shop, who costs 6, and Scrapnel, who costs 7, along with Ransack, who costs 6. So 8 and 6 is 14. Add 7 is 21, add 6 is 27. And you cannot play multiples of each character card. You can play multiple Ransack, but not multiple Ransack Insecticon Commando, which is this particular card. So I'm sure you can play four characters here, but as it stands, if you try putting the four Insecticon, you won't be able to actually fit them all in. Now we've got some non-Insecticons. We looked at RC the other day, which has a cost of five. So surely you could play RC with three of the Insecticons and you could have a group of four. But you can't play all four of the Insecticons we've seen so far. So on the one hand, I love the low cost of this. On the other hand, you can't play all four Insecticons. So, you know, just pointing that out there. Now, you notice I haven't mentioned the attack on the Ransack bot mode yet. And the reason here is incredibly simple. It doesn't have a standard attack. It changes depending on where you are in the game. It reads, this character's attack is equal to the number of damage counters on him. So if Ransack has no damage, it's got no base attack. Now, of course, there's nothing to stop you whacking a flamethrower on there and hitting for four damage. That's fine. But you won't have a base attack here, I think is the important thing to mention. So clearly, looking at the bot mode here, it's all about trying to make sure you've got 7 damage on there. Getting 7 damage on is going to allow you to have a base attack of 7. Given that the average base attack is 4, that's pretty gosh darn nice. And I'll actually let you in on a little secret here, ladies and gentlemen. 7 is as high as attack goes from the revealed cards again we can only look at the revealed cards both nemesis prime dark clone and megatron living weapon have a base attack of seven that is the most we've seen so far so this is a really good attacker just so long as you can get damage on there so of course the question then becomes 
Well, how are we going to get the damage on? And we do have a couple of options here. So if we have a look at action cards here, we've got Photon Bomb. Photon Bomb is an action card that indiscriminately does two damage to each character. Two to all of yours, two to all of your opponents. So you can use this here to put two damage counters on Ransack, and then boom, you're doing two damage. You also get to do two damage to all of your opponents, which is great. You also do two to all of yours. But given that at least one of your characters wants to take two damage, I'm okay with that. Of course, the counter-argument is, if you're playing lots of low-cost characters, the likelihood is that they've got low health, so actually those two damage counters per character will impact you more than your opponent, who's probably playing two or three higher health characters. The other card I really like with this is the upgrade card Force Field. And what Force Field says is, if the character with Force Field attached would take five or more damage, you scrap the Force Field, and instead, you only take four damage. It's basically a way of guaranteeing that you only ever take a maximum of four damage. And I adore this. As a side note, it's also got a white icon, so it means you can flip two more battle cards when attacking or defending, which is cool. But mostly, it guarantees you only take four damage. And I think this is a no-brainer to play with Ransack here. I don't see any other armor that you desperately need to play, again judging from the ones that have already been revealed. So I actually think this is really, really cool in terms of actually guaranteeing you only have four damage on. And then, of course, if you get attacked with force field, you take four damage. You then go ahead and play that photon bomb, and you take another two damage. Well, now you've got six. And looking at the cards we've seen, it's hard to get kind of one damage counter on. They generally work in twos, like we've seen on Photon Bomb. But certainly, just using these two cards, Force Field and Photon Bomb, would be a nice way to get six damage counters on and be hitting with an attack of six. And an attack of six on a character that only costs six stars is really, like, over-the-top good. Now, of course, we could talk about this every two minutes throughout the entire video, but worth pointing out here, yes, obviously it means you're going to get super easily KO'd the next turn, but, you know... You don't do this unless you're willing to give him up the next turn. You use this to get a KO, essentially. Because the other thing to mention here is you can just leave him and let your opponent attack and then hit back harder, and your opponent's going to be in a really awkward situation in terms of, well, do I attack it and then risk being hit back harder, or do I leave it? And that's what I love about this particular card. It forces your opponent into awkward decisions, and then you can then go for that big turn where you're like, right, now I've got an attack of six, and I'm off and rolling. If we flick over into insect mode or alt mode, it's got a nice little skill here. When you flip to this mode, you move two damage counters from another character to this one. Now, clearly, this is going to help with your bot mode, because now you've got two damage on, so you'll be doing an extra two damage. The thing that worries me here is if you flick to insect mode, you move two damage counters onto it, and then you wait till next turn to flip it back and attack, that gives your opponent a turn to be like, bam, now you're KO'd. And that, that worries me. So there are a couple of cards you can use to actually flip back. So you can flip here, take two damage counters and flip back. A couple of action cards. Either you can use Rapid Conversion, which flips one of your characters to its other mode, or you can use Rollout, which flips each of your characters. I know Rollout sounds initially way better, but remember, you'll sometimes want your characters in a specific mode, pretty much all the time, and it's going to be rare that you'll want to flip all of them over unless you've planned for that. So it really is nice to have one card that flips one, one card that flips all of them. Insect mode here, I mean, look, you could even leave it here in the early game because it's got a better attack and just flip it over when you're ready to actually go and attack. Because let's face it, you do have a lower defense, but you got the same health on an attack of three. There we go. Now, there are a couple of other cards I do think should be mentioned when talking about this bad boy. First of all, we've got Swarm. This is a battle card just for Insecticons. And what happens is you flip a battle card for each Insecticon with which you started the game. For each orange one you flip over, so each orange icon you see on all those battle cards combined, your opponent chooses one of their characters and does one damage to it. For each blue, 
you repair one damage from one of your characters. What is really important here, it's each Insecticon with which you started the game. So if your opponent has knocked one out, you still get to flip a battle card for it which is kind of handy. Although it goes back to the whole, wouldn't it be better to have four Insecticons than you flipping four cards here rather than three. So Swarm's kind of a fun one here. You've also got Rapid Assault. When you put it on a ranged character, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it. And in bot mode at least, Ransack is a ranged character, so you can do this too. I mean, it ups your defense by one, which is cool, but more importantly, it makes your opponent scrap a card from their hand, which is fun. Given that you're going to be damaged anyway, I quite like Energon Axe here. It gives you Pierce 2, so as long as you're doing at least 2 damage, you guarantee that 2 damage gets through, plus it raises your attack by 3. I quite like Energon Axe. It can only be put on damaged cards, but given that this is a card which is designed to be damaged... You know what? Kinda like it. And I should probably give a quick shout out here to Bug Bomb, another Insecticon only card here. It is an upgrade utility card, and if it's KO'd, you draw a card, and scrap an enemy upgrade, and your opponent scraps a card of their choice from their hand. So if you've got these Insecticons, like Ransack, that are about to be KO'd, especially if you just got your big counter attack off, maybe you attach this. Really quite nice disruption. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Ransack. A very interesting new Insecticon. I love the fact that you can do some counter-attacking here. And to be honest, it's got such a low cost of six that you really have got to look at it and be like, you know what, that's actually low enough that it might be worth considering. Insecticons look like they could be fun. But as always, I want to know what you think. Are there any other cards that have been revealed either before this video or after it's posted that you think would work well with this? Are you planning on an Insecticon deck? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. As a side note, there was a second tweet about this card. He's meant to play support, tanking hits of above average defense in bot mode, messing up your opponent's plans of his damage movement ability, then getting in a really good hit while on the brink of a KO. He requires some careful sequencing, but can provide a lot of value. I think that seems entirely accurate. And one of the things we did forget to mention here... With Ransack's ability, it's not just taking two damage counters so you can do more damage. It partly heals one of your characters to avoid a KO. Sounds like fun. So comment down below, ladies and gentlemen, and do make sure you like this video and click that subscribe button for more Transformers TCG action in the future. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays.